Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about Matplotlib library in Python. In Matplotlib, MAT stands for max. In mathematics, numbers are present. PLOT stands for chart. We have to represent the numbers in mathematics by using a chart. LIB stands for library. Okay, we have to use one library for representing the numbers of mathematics by using a chart. For that purpose, we have to use matplotlib library. Matplotlib library is one of the most important and powerful library in Python. Matplotlib library is a data visualization library in Python. What is data visualization? Data visualization is the process of translating the numbers, text, large data sets into reports like charts or graphs. There are different types of charts for visualizing the data by using matplotlib library. First one is line chart, second one is bar chart, third one is histogram, fourth one is scatter plot, fifth one is area chart, sixth one is pie chart. Okay, by using these uh, different types of charts, we have to visualize the data. Matplotlib library was created by a scientist called John D. Hunter. Matplotlib library is a open source library. We can use it freely. In matplotlib library, there are two types of modules are present. First one is pyplot and second one is pylab. These are the two modules that are present in matplotlib library. So these two modules are used for representing the data in various types of charts. To import pyplot module from the matplotlib library, we have to use the following statement. Import matplotlib.pyplot. Okay, so pyplot is the module. That module is present in matplotlib library. That module can be imported by using import statement. Okay, we have to import the pyplot module in matplotlib library. Okay, to provide the alternative name for import matplotlib.pyplot, we have to use the following statement. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Every time without writing matplotlib.pyplot, Simply, we have to use another alternative name that is called as alias. So, that is PLT. PLT is the alternative name for matplotlib.pyplot. Okay. Whenever matplotlib.pyplot is required, simply we have to use the alternative name that is PLT. By using pyplot, we can create different types of charts that are already discussed. First one is line chart, second one is bar chart, third one is histogram, fourth one is a scatter plot, fifth one is pie chart, and sixth one is area chart that is not mentioned here. 
this is called as line chart we have to draw the line between x axis and y axis so this is x axis this is y axis we have to draw the line between x axis and y axis so this is called as line chart so this is spelling mistake c h a r t next one so this this these are the markers markers are used for emphasizing each and every point okay for that purpose we have to use markers so this is one marker here this is a thick dot is nothing but one marker so markers are used for emphasizing a specific point and this is called as bar chart bar chart can be drawn between x axis and y axis in the x axis c c++ java php python are there in the y axis values 0 5 20 15 20 25 30 35 was there how many members are write the c exam how many members write the c++ course how many members write the java course how many members write the php course how many members write the python course okay that can be drawn by using bar chart this is called as area chart okay so this is the area okay so this area chart is also drawn between x axis and y axis in the x axis month is there and y axis turnover is there this is called as histogram so histogram is also drawn between x axis and y axis and this is the scatter plot okay and this is the pie chart okay so these are the different types of uh, charts we have to drawn by using pie plot module in matplotlib library so matplotlib library is one of the most important and powerful library in python mainly used for data visualization data visualization is nothing but we can represents the numbers large data sets text in different types of graphs or are charts it is a open source library it can be used freely so this is the introduction about matplotlib library in the next video we have to discuss about each and every chart okay thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel after subscribing my youtube channel divela srinivasa rao thank you thank you one and all for watching this video in the description box some important amazon products links are available please check this uh, links if you are interested please buy this products thank you thank you one and all for watching this video